أحمد هو أصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف الشهر تنزل الملائكة فيه تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر رب شحني صدري ويسلي أمري وحل أقدة من لساني يفكه قولي أمي As you know, Ramadan is coming in and on the night, on the 29th night of Sha'ban, the Prophet ﷺ delivered a khutbah on the month of Ramadan. If I have time, I would like to go over that khutbah of the Prophet ﷺ. But before I go over that khutbah, I want to go over Surah Al-Qadr because the month of Ramadan is significant. Why? Why is the month of Ramadan significant? Everyone here knows Surah Al-Qadr, yes? What is the surah before Surah Al-Qadr? What surah? What's the surah before Surah Al-Qadr? Tell me. The surah before Surah Al-Qadr is Surah al Which one? Ala. What is the significance and the link between Surah Al-Ala and Surah Al-Qadr? Can someone tell me? What would be the link between Surah Al-Ala and Surah Al-Qadr? Can someone think Surah al Qadr and Surah Al-Alaq, the link that they have is Surah Al-Alaq is the first, first five ayat it contains. It begins with the first five verses revealed to the Prophet ﷺ. Meaning, when was, that, what, when was that Qur'an revealed to the Prophet ﷺ? When did these five verses come down? But which, what is that time called? The time where these five verses came down, what is it called? That time where the Qur'an came down to the Prophet, what is it called? Laylatul, Laylatul Qadr. So the Qur'an starts first with Sutul Alaq and discusses the five verses revealed to the Prophet on that night. And then the Quran proceeds in the next surah telling you about the significance of that night. Now, I want you to imagine you're there in the time of Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And you hear, you hear Surah al alaq you hear Surah al alaq And then about that night, you hear Surah Al-Qadr. Both are Makki Surahs. Both were revealed early on. Both revealed are talking about the same night. Yes? So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed upon the Prophet, Ikra' bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم I will maybe go into details about this when Allah revealed this Allah also responded then by saying إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر why is that significant it is significant because when the Muslims were in Mecca, were they strong or weak? Weak. They were mustad'afeen of the people. They were weak people in the earth. 
And here the Qur'an is coming down and telling us this is a night of power. Giving a prophecy that this will become a historic day in history. That it had not yet become clear that it was actually a very historical day in history. Allah says in the Qur'an, Shahru Ramadan الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنِ The month of Ramadan is the month in which Allah sent down the what? Which, what did Allah send down in the month of Ramadan? Allah sent down the Qur'an in the month of Ramadan. Which day within Ramadan did Allah send down the Qur'an? Laylatul Qadr. And Allah says about Laylatul Qadr that this is a significant day. It is a day that will change history. Nothing will remain the same. The trajectory of human history will change after this day. <coughs> and so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. We send down this Quran upon you on Laylatul Qadr. O Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. An interesting word Laylatul Qadr is. Very interesting word. Laylatul Qadr. Layla means what? Day. Or sorry, it means night. But the word Layl also means day. The word Layl also means what? Day. Why? وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا مُوسَىٰ أَرْبَعِينَ And we took Moses for 40 what? Nights. So when Allah says night, it includes the day. When Allah says night, it includes the day. But if Allah says the day, it doesn't necessarily include the night. But when Allah says night, it includes the day. So, inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. We sent down this Quran on the night of Qadr. Now, the time where the Prophet saw Jibreel giving him the revelation was that daytime or nighttime in your imagination? See? It had to be after Maghrib. But Allah knows best. And then what does the word Qadr mean? Qadr, one of the meanings of the word Qadr means to restrict something. It means to what? To cause restriction. It is the night of restriction. Why it is the night of restriction? It's a night of restriction because there's no space where there's no angels, because the angels, they come down in Laylatul Qadr so much that there's no place on earth where there are not angels. Allah says, and when we make the rizq of the servant of Allah restricted, you know when Allah takes away your rizq to test you, right? So when something becomes restricted, it's called Qadr. So Allah says, Inna, indeed we. This is the glorious we. The, the we of dignity of Allah, the King. Inna anzalnahu. We sent this Quran down on the night of Qadr. What is another meaning of the word Qadr? Qadr also means destiny, right? We all know that this is the night of destiny. But don't think only your individual destiny, the destiny of humanity, the destiny of the people, right? The destiny of history, that after this day, history will not remain the same. After this day, now history has changed. The Byzantine Empire, gone. The Persian Empire, gone. This is a day that was going to start. This was the night that was going to start a new day in human history. So, inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. 
What is the link? Listen to me very carefully. What is the link between your destinies, your what? Your taqdeer and Quran. What is the link? What is the link between your taqdeer and the Quran? What is the link between your personal and collective destinies as a people and the Quran? Let me ask you one question. Where is the Quran? The real Quran. The Quran in the heavens, where is it? The Quran is in this is the mother book of all everyone's book of destiny is there also. Everyone's book of destiny is in Lohil Mahfuz. And Quran is the heart of that. Why? Your destiny, the night of Qadr is the night of destiny. The night of destiny is also the night in which Allah revealed what? The what? The Quran. So there is a link between your destiny and the Quran. Yes? Let me give you an example. If you don't have food, what surah do you read? Huh? To not starve, what surah do you read? If you don't have something to eat, what surah will keep you away from starvation? What surah? Surah Al-Waqi'ah. Yes? If you have a haja, if you have a need, you can read Surah Al-Yaseen. If shayateen are bothering you, if somebody is doing magic on you, read Surah Al-Baqarah. And so on and so forth. There is a link between the Qur'an and your destinies. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. We sent down this Qur'an on the night of Qadr. Not... And so what, 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 what... Let me tell you what I mean by that. Your destiny is where? Your destiny is in lawhul mahfuz. And the Qur'an is also where? Lawhul mahfuz. What does that record, your destiny, gets ju- your destiny, your destiny, our destiny collectively, gets judged by the Qur'an? This is why the Prophet said, on Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anh, he said, إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَرْفَعُوا بِهَذِهِ أَقْوَامًا وَيَدْعُوا بِهِ آخَرِينَ Allah will raise the people and the nations by this Qur'an. And Allah will throw down the people by this Qur'an. If you're true to Qur'an, like Abu Bakr and Umar, you will rise in this world and the next world. But if you fail to become true custodians of the book of Allah, if you fail to be true to the book of Allah, you can be one billion people, Allah will not care. Your destinies will not change. Only when you're true to the book of Allah will your destinies change. And so Allah says, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. Indeed, <coughs> we have sent down this Quran in laylatul qadr, the, the night in which your destinies are decided. You had a whole month. You had a whole month to spend with the Quran. You had what? A whole month to spend with Qur'an. Now your destinies will be imprinted in final writing or whatever has been written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning some aspects of Qadr can change. Let me also explain that. So everyone's clear about Laylatul Qadr. In the ilm of Allah, everything is already done. There's no past, there's no present, there's no future. When the Prophet went to Miraj, he saw people in the hellfire, they were already there. But some of that knowledge of the destinies of the people is given to the angels. Is given to who? To the angels. 
And the angels come upon the earth to enact according to the amr given to them, to the command that is given to them. So let me give you an example. In the knowledge of Allah, everything is written. But one year, let's say this year, some Muslim brother, he starts a business. And Allah gives in the, his qadr to the angels, his business will become really high. You know what a yearly budget is? One year budget. Laylatul Qadr is the one year budget. Laylatul Qadr is the what? One year budget. What will happen to you from this Laylatul Qadr to the next? Either from Nif Sha'ban, from Nif Sha'ban to Laylatul Qadr. Scholars have different opinions, but this time period, you're being judged. This is a very important time period where you are being judged on your relationship to Quran. If you're true to Qur'an in this month, then Allah might have mercy upon you and give you a good, not good in the worldly sense, not good in the worldly sense, but in the actual sense. If you are true to Qur'an in this month, you might have itqum min an nar you might be people of the paradise, you might be written as a person of Jannah in the real sense of the word. But the angels are given qadr yearly. Every year, on which night are they given your budget? How much life you'll have, how much risk you'll have, how much children you'll have, so on and so forth. Yearly budget. This year, this will happen. This year, this will happen. This year, this will happen. So some Muslim brother, he starts a business. It's in his qadr now. Business is going to become big. Next year, he'll be given a new budget. Maybe that business will go through hard times now. The next year his business starts going down because the new budget came in. But who knows the final result of everything? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. We sent down this Quran on the night of qadr. Why? My time is running out. I wanted to read the khutbah of the Prophet Sallallahu in the 29th night of Sha'ban, he gave this khutbah. Now with this in mind, that your destiny and Qur'an are intertwined. Your destinies and Qur'an are what? Intertwined. So Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. We sent down this Qur'an on the night of Qadr. <coughs> the night that changed human history. The night that can change your history at the individual level. That night that can change you as a person. But to get to that night, you have a whole month to spend with Qur'an. You have a whole month to reflect upon the Book of Allah. If you don't spend time with the Book of Allah, then you're missing the point of inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. And then let me share with you one more thing before my time ends, and then I will try to read at least part of the khutbah the Prophet gave sallallahu alaihi wasallam on laylatul qadr. The surah before surah al qadr is which surah? Surah al alaq. Surah al alaq is the surah that is the fi first five verses that was revealed to the Prophet. Yes. What is the surah after Surah Al-Qadr? Surah Al-Bayyina. What does Surah Al-Bayyina say about the Quran? Surah Al-Bayyina says, "Lam yakun al-ladina kafaru min ahl al-kitab wal-mushrikin munfakina hatta taatiyahum al-bayyina." Allah is very clear. That the mushrikeen, the people that are pagans, and the Ahlul Kitab, the Christians and the Jews, they're not going to believe until clear evidence comes to them. Clear bayina comes to them. When they see the clear bayina, they will believe. They will have to believe. And then Allah says, لَمْ يَكُنِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ مُنْفَكِّينَ حَتَّى تَأْتِيَهُمُ الْبَيِّنَةِ What is that bayina? Rasulun مِّنَ اللَّهِ A messenger of Allah doing what? يَتْلُو سُهُفًا مُتَحَّرًا 
He is the messenger who recites from purified pages. Purified what? Pages, meaning from the Quran. Rasulun min Allahi yatlu suhufan mutahara. Fiha kutubu qayyima. In it are laws that have to be established. So the first surah, Surah Al-Alaq, talks about the coming down of the Quran the first time. Ikra. Bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Khalaq al-insana min ala. Ikra wa rabbuka al-akram. Alladhi allama bil qalam. Allama al-insana ma lam ya'am. One of the things I want to end with, again, my time is running out. What does it mean that the Qur'an came down in Laylatul Qadr? It meant that Allah will give you true knowledge. What? True knowledge. True knowledge is not with Freud. And true knowledge is not with Darwin. And a PhD does not mean you have knowledge. True knowledge is in this book that was sent down in Laylatul Qadr and then changed the history of the world. And the proof of that is the people it produced changed the world. When you are true to, this is a historical proof of the truth, truthfulness of the Qur'an. That when we were true to Qur'an, we rose up. Whether it was in the time of the Khulafa al-Rashidin, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, Hassan radiallahu anhum ajma'in or it was in the time of Salahuddin Ayyubi or when we were true to Quran we rose up this is our history and when we were untrue to the Quran we fell down when we were not true to Laylatul Qadr when we were not true to Ramadan when we were not true to upholding the book of Allah then we fell down. This is the month now, this is the final month, the final chance, the final 30 days to see how you deal with the Qur'an. How you'll build a relationship with the Book of Allah. And then Allah will put in stone your destinies. Then Allah will what? Put in stone your destinies. I know a lot of people become very active in Ramadan in the last 10 days. But the test starts from the beginning. From the first day. This whole month is important because of one night. And let me, if just for tabarrakun, I want to mention, I wanted to do the whole khutbah of the Prophet wasallam. And just if I can have one second here. The Prophet said, the khutbah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa He gave this khutbah on the 29th of Sha'ban, the day before Ramadan, in his lifetime. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Ya ayyuhannas, O mankind, O mankind. You know, just as Surah Al-Baqarah says, uses the word, Shah Ramadan, alladhi unzila fi al-Quran, hudal linnas. The Prophet said, Ya Yuhannas, Qad adallakum shahrun azimun mubarakun. O mankind, you are now being overshadowed. The shadows of Ramadan, of a great blessed month, are now overcoming you. What does the Quran say about that month and that night? Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. It is so significant, it is so powerful, it is so valuable that you can't even, when Allah says, meaning you can't comprehend the reality of it. It is impossible for you to comprehend the reality of that night and that month. So the Prophet said, Ya Yuhannas, O mankind, قَدْ أَظَلَّكُمْ شَهْرٌ عَظِيمٌ مُبَارَكٌ O mankind, you are now being overshadowed. By some of us, we have family problems. We have problems with our children. We have problems with our spouses. We have all money problems, financial problems. The world is going down this drain into more and more filth. But Allah is bringing this month, overshadowing you. You still have a chance. 
So the Prophet says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Yuhan Nas, Qad Adallakum Shahrun Azimun Mubarakun, Shahrun Fihi Laylun Khayru Min Alfi Shahr. One night of it is better than a thousand months. One night of it is better than what? A thousand months. Make sure that you build a relationship with this Quran because your destinies, the destinies of your children, the destinies of our community over here is tied to the Quran. Aqulu qawli hadha astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'al muslimina wa muslimat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.